Howdy, howdy, this is Mr. Stromhorst with the uh, math lesson, finding surface area of a cylinder. So when we take a look at the cylinder, we're just gonna identify that the bases are going to be circular. And then we have the parallel congruent opposite sides. So we have two circular bases opposite of each other. And then we can see that the, clearly that they're circles, but then we take a look at what is this other shape between the circles. So if we cut it down one side and unwrapped it, we could see that the circumference is going to be equal to that of the length of the rectangle. So we have a length all the way around and then a height, or otherwise as a base and a height. So we're going to use that concept to help us find the total surface area by first finding the area of the two bases and then finding the area of the circumference times the height. So looking at the first circle in order um, the first cylinder, in order to find the circumference, we need the diameter. The diameter is going to be all the way across. So if this is four, then the other side is four. So if the radius is four, then the diameter is going to be eight. And if we cut this shape, we cut it down one side and unwrapped it, then we'd have the length or the base of that rectangle would be diameter times pi and then times the height. So we could leave that as eight pi. And later towards the end, instead of multiplying by pi right now, leave the symbol in there. And then once we get to the solve part, we can multiply by 3.14 later. Okay, so that is gonna give us the area of just a circle. So we got eight pi times 10, and we could do eight times pi, so the area of this circle would be 80 pi. Now, looking at the area of the two circles, we need the formula. Area of a circle is going to be pi r squared. So we take pi, and we can just leave it there as a symbol. We can multiply later. And then we'd put in r squared. That's going to be 4 squared times pi. We got 4 squared and 4 squared times 16, or 4 squared times pi, so it's going to be 16 pi. This is going to be one circle. Then we multiply that by 2 to get the area of both circles. So 16 times 2 is going to give us 32 pi. Right now, we have the area of the rectangle. Now, we've calculated the area of the two circles. In order to get the total surf surface area, we're going to put those two together. So, let's see. This is going to be... the. I think we're just filling in the circle information here. So this is going to be 16 pi for the area of the circle. And then we multiply that by 2. So that's going to give us 32 pi. So this is the area of the circles. This is the area of the rectangle. Now we add them together. And we're going to get 32 plus 80. We're going to get 112 times pi. We left pi to the end. So now we can multiply. 1, 1, uh, 112 times 3.14. I'll go ahead and multiply that out. And now check your answers. We have two decimal place values above, so we're going to move it over here to the left. So the actual value in square units would be a 351 and 68 hundredths centimeters squared. We're going to go up here and write that in there. 351 and 68 hundredths centimeters squared for the total surface area.
All right, so let's start to apply that. Looking at the second cylinder, the radius is five. And if the radius is five, then the diameter is times two. So the diameter is 10. Now we're gonna do pi times diameter. And instead of multiplying times pi right now, we'll leave it for later. So we got 10 pi is the circumference around that circle. And then we're gonna multiply that by the height to give us uh, the surface area of just the sides. So we got 100, uh, we got 12 times 10. So that's gonna give us 120 centimeter, 120 pi, and that's centimeters squared. So the area of the rectangular sides for the cylinder, it's going to be 120 times pi, and that's going to be centimeters squared. And now we need to look at the area of the two circles. And in order to find the area of the two circles, we need the area formula. So we're going to square the radius, r squared times pi. Now the radius is 5. So we got 5 squared, which is going to be 25. So 25 times 25 times pi, and then there's two circles. So the total surface area of the circles, both of the bases, is going to be 50 times pi. So the total surface area, we have, it uh, looks like they labeled, color-coded this. So that's going to be the circles, 50 times pi. And then the sides is going to be 120 times pi. Altogether, that's going to be 170 times pi centimeters squared. We're going to go over here, 3.14 times 170. Go ahead and work that out. I had to move it just to get a little more space. Now we're done multiplying. Check your answer. Move the decimal over two places. And we go in here and we're going to type our answer or write our answer in for the total surface area going to be 533 and 8 tenths or 80 hundredths and that's centimeters squared, centimeters two. And I'll just put in SQ. Okay, go ahead and glue that into your notebooks and we're going to get started with the in-class practice.